In today's exercise, you are going to read the sentence, look carefully and find out if there are proper nouns. If there are proper nouns, names of places, names of people, then you must write capital letters. So change the letters capital. That's what you are going to do today. I hope you will enjoy this exercise. Look at the sentence carefully, read aloud and change the letters into capital if there are proper nouns. Let's look at our first sentence. Look what you have here. You remember this nursery rhyme? Yes, Jack and Jill went up the hill. See, Jack and Jill both are going up the hill. What for? To fetch a pail of water. Look at the sentence given to you. Jack and Jill went up the hill. The full sentence is here. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Now, you must identify. Are they proper nouns here? Yes. Which are they? Yes. The girl's and boy's name. Jack. Jack is the name of a boy. So, J should be capital. Very good. And Jill, a name of a girl, proper noun, so J capital. So Jack and Jill, both these names of these children, they are names of people, so capital letter. And now let's read. What is our exercise? Identify words that are proper nouns and write in capital. You have done it. Proper noun, Jack, proper noun, Jill. Now let's read the sentence. Jack. And Jill went up the hill. Okay, we have put the cap letter and here ends with the full stop. Good. Did you enjoy this sentence? Let's take another look. Here's a little girl. Let's read the sentence. Pinky loves to eat apple. This is Pinky, no? Pinky loves to eat apple. Certainly, the word pinky, this is pinky, proper noun, name of a girl. So, P definitely should be in capital letter. We identified one word, pinky, that is name of a person, proper noun, capital letter. So, we change the P into capital, good. P goes in capital, proper noun. Pinky loves to eat apple, very good. Let's go on to a, another sentence. Now look. Here's the calendar. What's the name of the month? Let's look. Oh, it's January. Let's read the sentence given to us. January is the first month of a year. January is the first Month of a year. Now, what is January? Name of a month. So, again, proper noun. The first letter should be capital. January, J capital. Good. January is the first month of the year. Begins with the capital, ends with the full stop. Are you enjoying? Good. Let's go on to another sentence. We are identifying proper nouns. Nouns so, of names of month, week, people's name, and names of places, and then we change the capital letter into capital letter. Let's look at this. You know this person? Yes, Gandhi. Gandhi Ji is the father. Gandhi Ji is the father of our nation. Very important person. Gandhi Ji is a name. So we have identified proper noun. And the G becomes capital. So, this is Gandhiji. Gandhiji is the father of our nation. So, G capital. Good. Shall we go on to a, another sentence? Good. Now, here we have a girl. What is she doing? Reading. Let's read what is given to us. Catherine is reading a storybook. Catherine 
is reading a story book. This is Catherine. Catherine, proper noun, the name of a girl. So definitely C has to be capital letter. We are identifying proper nouns, so we write cap. Now let's read. Catherine is reading a story book, and we end with the full stop. Are you enjoying the exercise of identifying proper nouns? Good. And writing them in capital. Let's take another picture. Look. Look at this. This is our planet Earth. This is our planet Earth. Earth. Only we have one Earth. Okay? So, it has to be in capital. Earth. This is our planet Earth. So, we write E, capital. Change this into E. Very good. This is our planet Earth. E, capital, name of the one of the most important planet and ends with the full stop. This is our planet Earth. And ends with the full stop. Good. Let's go on to the next sentence and identify proper noun. Look at this sentence. This little girl with her dog. Let's read. Pense is playing with her dog Roger. Pansy is playing with her dog Roger. Now, Pansy is her name. Proper noun. Yes. Pansy is her name. What about the dog's name? Roger. So, we have identified two proper nouns in this sentence. So, we are going to write P, capital, R, capital. Yes, the first letter of the proper noun should be capital. Now, let's write. Pense is playing with her. Pansy is playing with her dog, Roger. So, Tansy, name of the girl, Roger, name of the dog. So, two proper noun, we change into capital letter and then end it with the full stop. Tansy is playing with her dog, Roger, dog's name. Good. Let's go on to the next. Let's read the sentence given to us. Yes, Andrew is having severe cold. Andrew is having severe cold. Cold. Andrew's name of a person, of a boy. Proper noun. So we write A capital. Yes? So we have only one proper noun here, Andrew. Andrew is having severe cold. We ended with the full stop. The sentence is complete. Andrew is having severe cold. Yes? Good. Let's go on to the next sentence. Here you have a little girl. Let's read what is given to us. Angel is looking very sad. Angel is looking very sad. Angel is the name of this girl. Proper noun. A, capital. We change the first letter of the name into capital. And the uh, full stop is already there. Let's read the sentence. Angel is looking very sad. Third. Shall we take another sentence? Look. And identify proper noun. Change it. The first letter into capital. You recognize this picture? Nehru G. Correct. Nehru is the first Prime Minister of India. Identify proper nouns here. Nehru G. We found proper noun. What about India? A country. So we have two proper nouns. Name of a person. Name of a place, a country. Okay? Now let's A here, N you change into capital, here I you change into capital. Now, Nehru is the first Prime Minister of India. Nehru is the first Prime Minister of India and ends with the full stop. Good. Let's go on to another sentence. Identify proper noun, change the first letter into capital. Look at this. Trisha is playing with her son. Trisha is playing with 
her son. Trisha, this is Trisha. Trisha is the name of a person, proper noun. T, we change into capital. That's the only one there. Now, capital letter. Trisha is playing with her son. Full stop. So, Trisha. Proper noun we identified. We change the first letter into capital. Trisha is playing with her son. Let's take another sentence. Identify proper noun. Change the first letter into capital. Looks like full celebration. Let's read. Christmas is celebrated by Christians. Christmas is celebrated by Christians. Now, here you have Christmas. It's a festival. So, C has to be capital. Yes? So, we'll write capital here. Christmas is celebrated by Christians. See capital? Christians. It's also a people. Uh, uh, the people who celebrate Christmas. So, we have two proper nouns here. One is the festival. One is the people who celebrate this festival. Christmas, see capital, is celebrated by Christians. Full stop. I hope you enjoyed this exercise of identifying proper nouns and changing the first letter into capital. Good.